Breaking news in British Columbia, that's the passenger bus rollover on Highway 97C in the B.C. interior yesterday. Look at this. This. There's a reason you need your wipers up. Look at this. This is fro freezing rain. The whole vehicle is completely a sheet of ice. It's a thin sheet of ice. Look at that. It's wild. It's wild. Whole cars. It's all like rhino lined. Including my steps. Look at that. Super sketchy. Interesting. But with the camper, it blocks. See, when it can't hit, it doesn't get my window. It only gets the bottom of the window. The freezing rain. That's an 18 pound turkey bird. Yeah, plus all the stuff he makes. It so, like so, in theory, so like, you know, Careful. almost as heavy as the cat. Okay, you can keep, t keep walking, Mom. <laughs> I want to show everybody what's going on with the path. Look at this. This is pure ice. And we got the poles out walking. So yeah, it, because it rained ice. It was raining ice. It would come down and turn to ice and it becomes all the roads that all these hiking paths. Doesn't matter if things were plowed, they were concrete yesterday. Just, you're just layering frozen water, freezing water everywhere. So you saw the car and I saw this. Tragic news on the highway between Kelowna and Merritt. There was a bus that went over just on Christmas Eve last night. 56 people went to the hospital. Four people died on the e-bus. And it's so ironic because my mom was just saying earlier, it's like, oh, if you don't want to drive, you know, you can jump on the e-bus. Or my brother's vehicle needed to go mechanic, jump on the e-bus. And then just the exact same day that I was thought about, even told Dr. G about, hey, you can jump on the e-bus. I even told her that after you told it me. I'm like, oh yeah. And then, yeah, four people dead on the e-bus on the highway. And I drove by just two hours earlier. We now can tell you that there have been multiple fatalities and injuries. The highway, known as the Okanagan Connector, was closed in both directions. It is now back open between West Kelowna and Aspen Grove. Crash that happened uh, yesterday evening when this passenger bus was heading from the Kelowna area to Vancouver. And as you mentioned, this happened on the Okanagan Connector. That's a, a highway that goes up uh, quite a high mountain pass and connects with the Coquihalla Highway. We're here that the bus uh, rolled over on its side and uh, paramedics arrived to the scene to find multiple casualties. Uh, the passengers were taken to three different hospitals in the area that eight people uh, still remained injured in hospital, two of them seriously. All of us want our family to be safe and they want to be with us uh, during the holidays. There's been a number of, of uh, flights cancelled uh, to get people to places like Vancouver, so people were probably trying every which way to get there. And e-bus is an important service that links the interior to the lower mainland and uh, it just breaks your heart. I drive that road uh, very, very often as Member of Parliament uh, to make it to places like Merritt and Logan Lake. And I will tell you that the conditions can change very suddenly. Everything from fog suddenly coming across the road for, for certain parts to wind and snow drifts that will appear. It's very well maintained. but. Again So there's two photos that I took going from Kelowna to Merritt for Christmas with my family out here. And if I had taken the e-bus, if I had taken my mom's advice, there was a probable chance I would have been on the exact same e-bus. It was around the six o'clock one, I believe. Of course, you know, I, but I drove in the day knowing I was going to drive the truck camper. I have studs on the dually and, you know, and driving experience. Um, so I was... And I even phoned my brother, like he drove before me, and I asked him what the conditions were like. And he said, on the way down to Merritt, it goes from snowy roads up high to freezing rain. And so he told me that right when I was leaving Kelowna. And I'm like, all right, you know, just got to take it slow. And I have studs. It makes a difference on the ice. Um, just don't get your speed up too much, right? Keep it, 
keep it manageable, like 80K most of the trip, instead of 110 or 120, which is the speed limit. And that's where the bus apparently crashed, rolled on its side, was getting closer to Merritt at Loon Lake, the Loon Lake exit, which is a rest stop. And so, you know, it's just uh, happy we made it. But unfortunately for some people, it's ruined um, not just Christmas, but uh, a life, multiple lives. Anyways, this is Marcel with Ernie Racing News, guys. Bye. Concerns about how upfront the RCMP is when there's a major crisis in this country. So the Merritt Detachment is a small detachment, and there's obviously the provincial wing, and then there's the local enforcement. And I tell you, on a constant basis, those uh, those two are activated, and they work very hard to, to do it. But but again, let's just put this in context. 53 people, uh, and then there's also the dangers of, of whether or not other other accidents are along the road. So I'm going to cut them a little slack on, on not getting as much information out because this is a remote area, and, and to be fair, uh, I don't know how many people were available at the dispatch office. I, I will tell you, though, if you look at the Meredith RCMP and, uh, and some of the other crews that work those roads, um, they try to do what they can with the limited resources they have. 40. 140. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, well, because I, I think you weren't getting in the right spot before. 142. Try the breast and see what we're doing with the breast. Yeah, that's going up. 51, 151. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I think I, mean, I think I think you might have hit a hot, a hot spot before. Because I, I think you hit the stuffing, not the. Because it's only 150 right there, so it's still got a ways to go. Okay. Everyone, be safe out there. Do your best. There's uh, more accidents being reported on the roads as the hours go by. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Fatality and Armstrong. Yeah, Fatality and Armstrong, as my also. brother just mentioned. Um, you know, know yet. we're all traveling on these holidays to meet our loved ones, meet our family, and have turkey. And as I report this story, I'm filming my own story in relation. And, you know, so that's why I'm showing you the scenes of the turkey in the progress. And it's just life. It, we're living life. And yeah, we're going to see news.